I'm Amanda from The Hot Plate, and today we'll be getting steamy in the kitchen making pasta carbonara. I love pasta carbonara. It's so simple and it's so creamy, and it really uses ingredients you usually have at home. So I don't care if you're a lonely male student, I have rarely met one that doesn't have bacon and eggs and pasta in their cupboard. So all you need is a little Parmesan cheese to make this beautiful dish come together. We have one pound of linguine noodles, which could be substituted for spaghetti, five strips of thick cut bacon, which could be substituted for pancetta, four large eggs, pepper, parmesan cheese, and kosher salt. We'll get started with our five strips of bacon. We're going to lay them one on top of each other and then cut them crosswise into half inch pieces. We'll then heat up a skillet with one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil over medium high heat and add our bacon. Continue cooking until crisp. While the bacon's cooking, we have to cook our pasta. So we've got one large pot of boiling water here, and we're going to dump in our one pound of pasta. Now we're going to let this cook for nine minutes until it's nice and al dente. While the bacon and pasta start cooking, we're going to lightly beat together our four eggs in a small bowl. Once the bacon's completely crisped and browned, we're going to carefully remove it from the skillet and let it drain on some paper towel. Then we're going to be removing most of the bacon fat so that we're just left with two tablespoons. Keep this hot over low heat while your pasta finishes cooking. Once the pasta is finished cooking, we'll be reserving one cup of the starchy pasta water for later. Drain the pasta completely. Add the pasta back to the skillet with the bacon fat and we're going to start to toss this. You'll hear a yummy sizzling sound. Add the starchy pasta water to the skillet and start to toss everything together. Then slowly add the eggs to avoid them scrambling and start tossing. Add in one cup of grated Parmesan cheese, our bacon bits, and season it up with some pepper. Toss over medium high heat until it's completely combined for two minutes. Now it's ready to serve and I can't wait to try it. Our pasta carbonara is all done and I can smell all that beautiful crispy bacon. I cannot wait to grab a bite. Mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. That is the ultimate comfort food. It's cheesy, it's creamy, it's bacony, best of all. Thanks so much for checking out The Hot Plate. Make sure to check out this and all of our other episodes and recipes at thehotplate.com and updates on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash thehotplate.